What do you got? So Come couple, on, excite me. <laughs> a couple things I want to get to from last Sunday still before we move ahead. And it's simply for the Green Bay Packers. Is it time to get a live game look at Jordan Love? No, absolutely not. Wow, never. Huh? No, they're done. They're done. He's done. I think the biggest thing they could do right now, I know it doesn't make a lot of sense, lose as much as you can. Try to get in that draft. You need to draft the next Justin Jefferson. You need to go out and spend money. You need to get two legitimate wide receivers for this offense. Otherwise, why did you pay Aaron Rodgers? Full stop. So I'll tell you right now the guy they need. I can identify the specific player they need, and you can write it down. His name is Quinton Johnson. He plays for TCU. He is 6'4". He is 220. He is the closest thing to a DeAndre Hopkins clone that I have seen. Big body, physical, makes people miss. Perfect guy for Aaron Rodgers. Enough with the nonsense. Yeah, Love's not going to give you anything, David, except for tanking. This is where you go out and you hire Jeff Saturday to be your head coach. He's bad. Think about this. Hire Brett Favre. Right. He would have played if he were worth anything. We've never seen this kid play. He played once at Kansas City. And they put his family in the top row of the upper deck. He's basically outside of the stadium they were. Yeah. I mean, we, we laugh. I, but honestly, I'd, I'd stick with Nate Sutfield, that, who the Lions have over him. All right, so let's talk about Kenneth Walker one more time here because he did it again five straight weeks here. He scored. He also closed out the game twice for them, taking mm-hmm. them, putting them up 24-14, then putting them up 31-21. I know he did not start the year. He was hurt. We all know this. But is there anyone besides him that should be the offensive rookie of the year? No. No. As of right now, I I don't see anyone else. Damian Pierce for Houston has had a very nice year, but he's not Kenneth Walker. And Brees Hall would have been the competition. He got hurt. Look, K-9 is in the running to be an all-pro, guys. I'd hate to break it to you. (laughs) Drake London? Chris Olave, maybe? No. No. Guys, I beg this team to draft this kid. I mean, David, he's 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 special. He's probably the best running back out there right now. Not just rookie, but and I'll say it again. You know, uh, if, if you, I mean, the Florence, Jerry O and yeah. Chris Sims were talking about it, and you know what they bantied about? Oh seven, Adrian Peterson. Yeah. Okay, I mean, you don't walk in the league and become a force. You don't walk in the league and look f- as fast on Sundays as you did on Saturdays. Right. Plus, he's flashing the power element. Plus, he's making people miss, and he's doing it with rookie tackles. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think that the Jets were close to having the, both the offensive and defensive rookies of the year. Oh, it, absolutely. Yeah, one but, three hey, yeah, yeah. hey here, I'll tell you right now. You could make a case that Sauce Gardner's the best corner in football. You could make that case. I'm not saying you'd win right. it, but you could make it, and you wouldn't get laughed out of the room. He's already taking out the best receiver on the other team. He, he does not allow people to complete passes on him. He is great on deep balls, getting his head turned, getting his shoulders flipped, the long arms. I, go ahead. You can laugh. Yeah. He, he's the best corner in football. And that's why I didn't ask the question on defensive rookie of the year because clearly we know who the defensive rookie of the year is. It's a Hutchinson, bra. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure thing. Uh, <laughs> you know, you should do a podcast called Always Irritated. <laughs> uh, real quick. I mean, it's just like, <clears throat> go ahead. Well, so, <laughs> I, I said it's very much to bro. Sa- sauce. <laughs> just, just tell the Sauce family we're all very <clears throat> proud. That was uh, your call. You identified him before anybody was talking. Sauce Johnson. Sauce Gardner. Cookies McGee. Cookies McGee. (laughs) So real quick, you all started this show talking about the bad Big Ten West. Mm. Well, that also goes to on-field props. Did you happen to see the little train that couldn't at Purdue this past weekend? Oh, the Purdue special or whatever they call it? Yeah, Yeah, the Purdue special for player introductions. They could not get the train off the field. Yeah, I don't know. Was was that worse, or was uh, SMU with the mule who uh, decided to leave his regards all over the field? That may be worse. Actually, okay, it's not a mule. Okay. Okay, and it was unfortunate. <laughs> all right. And I, and what's worse is they didn't give the kid a shovel. 
he had to pick it up by hand. Right. And that's, come on. But the Broncos are like, what is going on? Like, I'm like, is there a streaker on the field? Like, no. They're not showing you. They're just laughing. And I'm like, oh, but yeah. David, here's the problem. You can't be an engineering school and have the train That was not my work. exact point why I brought it up. Yeah, yeah but pr- they, they have no self-respect. And I often tease them. I'm like, so basically you go to Purdue to become a conductor? No, but no. I know. It's they don't have any respect. They have a stupid drum and a scumbag in sweatpants. They, proud of, they are proud of the drum. And are they proud of their creepo? That 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 we're, nightmare fuel mascot? We're proud of Stoney. Are we? That is our mascot. <laughs> we operate in fear of how much <laughs> trouble Stoney will get this station in at some point. Uh, let's have a conversation. <laughs> Let's talk about the Buffalo Bills for a second because I think they have a decision on their hands when it comes to their quarterback. He did not practice again today. He's not playing. He's not playing. But would you just go ahead and sit him for the next four weeks? That's Minnesota, Cleveland, Detroit, New England. Not a doctor, clearly. Mm -hmm. But if you're asking me, hey, man, if the prognosis is there is any risk because this injury, if it gets exacerbated, could result in Tommy John. If you're telling me I sit him for a month and I can't rule out injury, but we will have followed it by the book, conserved it, absolutely, this is I'm about sitting him down. Because as much as I want home field, as much as I don't want to have to go to Arrowhead in the AFC title game, if they don't have him, they don't have anything. I'm sitting him. He ain't playing this weekend. I wouldn't play him next weekend. I wouldn't play short turnaround for Thanksgiving. Wouldn't do it. But now, if the doctors tell me the risk is the risk is the risk, meaning it's not going to get any better, not right. get any it ain't going to get better, it ain't going to get worse, and no matter what, if you play football here, Josh, it, it, could, uh, it could pop. Then you have a different conversation because the reality is you can't bubble wrap, guys. I'm, I'm not a doctor, but I am, I'm terrified. Terrified. Quarterback elbow injury? Good God. Yeah. I think what's important about their schedule, just to make a note of this, is usually you play Thursday for Thanksgiving, you get 10 days. They only get a week because they play back-to-back Thursday. So just for scheduling-wise, that does matter when it comes to rest. You know, if wait, you wait, they, wait, they, they play, play Thursday Thanksgiving, then, then they're they, on Thursday night football the next week oh, instead correct. of Sunday. Oh, okay. So that may matter when it comes to schedule-wise. I'd be honest, yeah, the Lions, this is one where – you go the full Aaron Rodgers. Like, do we really need him to beat the Lions? Take it easy. You don't need him to beat Cleveland. Uh, yeah, you, right. you guys are going way too far. The separation in this league is not big enough that you can lose Josh Allen, put Case Keenum in, and simply tra-la-la down the road. Like, if I'm sitting in for four weeks, my hope, Sean McDermott, I go two and two. Right, but if you're going to do it, two of your wins may be Cleveland and Detroit. And again, if they can steal one against Minnesota, maybe it buys you another week. But, yeah, I look. Because he's for sure not playing this week, no matter what. He's not doing that at all. How many backup quarterbacks do the Minnesota Vikings get to face? It's really unbelievable. Oh, this is their year. They're living a charmed life. Skyler Thompson, Tyler Heineke. Honestly, uh, when you think about it, record-wise, they're the second-best team in football. They're the luckiest team in football. Seven and one. They're playing in the Big Ten West. they are. Hey, as Denny Green says, I think we're going to see who they are, though, when they get to the playoffs. They're going to lose in that playoff oh, game. Primetime Cousins. Yeah. He'll throw two pick sixes. Exactly. Shirtless with diamonds. So let's close it out with this because, of course, this guy is in the news again mm. because the owner spoke. Jerry Jones spoke again this week about OBJ. He says, I know the Cowboy star on that helmet when he puts it on could look pretty good here's my problem obj the conversation about should he go here should he go there i haven't seen one video of him working out i haven't seen one video of him being ready to play football again no i'll tell you the place he should go if we're talking about where he should go versus where he will go Mm -hmm. should go to baltimore he could be the unquestioned number one receiver with rashad bateman out it would be him and mark andrews You get a great run offense. You get a team that's going to win their division. I don't buy Cincinnati. That's where he should go. 
but you're on your own trying to predict uh, the five inches between his ears. Dude's crazy. Dallas, whatever, man. That's Dallas being Dallas. Oh, for sure. No, yeah. but I, I mean, I think that's – you almost want to see it because you want to see the clash of all the egos because you know it won't work. Yeah, you know what I want to see? I'd love to see him back at MetLife, see if he's grown up a little bit. No, you don't. Dude, I'd like to make the playoffs. What do you want from me? You don't want that. All right, I'm out. And that, and that is, is for, and the music cut out as soon as I offered that opinion. <laughs> like even even the computer right, was like, like no, enough. This Mike, is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. I want to win. I'm desperate. 